Hello everyone and welcome to my first guide to or tutorial on Farming Simulator 22. In this video I want to show you everything that you need to know about making hay. Starting with how to exactly make hay, then how to collect it off the field and how to store it, what options uh, you have on, uh, regarding that and also what equipment and machinery you need to pull that off. And with that being said, let's uh, start with what is hay? Basically, hay is dried grass, to keep it as simple as possible. So in order to produce hay, you, first of all, you are going to need a grass field, like the one we have over here. And as, and you, as you can see, uh, the grass is ready to harvest or ready to be cut. And also that being said, the first job that you need to do to produce hay is to cut the grass. For that, we are going to need some sort of mowers. And let's go to the store over here and see what options we have for mowers. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see we have a mower category. And you can choose any type of mowers from this category you like. Uh, just keep in mind that if you choose these butterfly mowers, you will also need a front mower for it. Otherwise, you will leave a strip of grass between the wheels of the tractor that will not be cut. Also, be, besides this, we have a self-propelled mower in this category over here. Uh, we only have two options in game standard. Also, as a disclaimer, all the equipment in the, that I'm going to show you are standard in game that Giants put in. So for our demo today, we are going to use this Krone Big M. So yeah, let's get going. Let's get into the Krone. We have all the equipment over here. We are going to start it up. Uh, also, let's unfold it. And we are going to start cutting the grass. But before we do that, let me go into the menu a little bit, a little quick and put on the help window and uh, you'll understand why in just a second. Uh, for this mower in particular, we have two working modes and now we have wide spreading selected. We can also move to swat dropping. If you move to swat dropping, it will put the grass that you cut in swat to be able to collect it right away. But we don't want that. So let's put it back to wide spreading. Let's start the mower, put it down, and let's start cutting the grass. As you can see, now we have cut grass spread everywhere. I'm going to continue continue this finish the to finish the field. When you get to the end, you just have to raise the mower like this. And then turn around. Okay, now all the grass is cut. Uh, you'll understand why I cut the grass on the entire field by the end of this video when we will get to collecting and storing the, the grass. So I recommend you stick until the end to find out why. Now let's get to the second step into making hay. And that step is tedding the grass. By what happens by tedding the grass? Basically, in, in real life, you turn the grass around so the sun can uh, dry it up. In game, you'll see, let's start this machine, lower it. This is a tether. Also, I will show you in a, in a moment where you can find this because I forgot to do it. As I said, this is my first tutorial, so you will have to bear with me. Uh, in game, after you tend the grass, basically you will get hay. And if you see the texture and color is a little bit different from this one. The grass is, uh, let's say, darker green and the hay is uh, lighter yellowish green. Also, I said that I will show you where you can get the tethers. You can go here and you have a tethers category and you can get either one of these of four. I have the big potinger for, for this. Let's uh, get going and uh, I'll make, I'll transform all of the field to hay. Okay, now all the grass that we've cut down has been tethered. As you can see, we have a big field in uh, the light green color that means we have a field full of hay but we cannot end this tutorial here we made the hay now but 
uh, we need to collect it off the field because otherwise we cannot do anything with it. We want to use the hay to maybe feed the sheep or to mix it to make total mix ratio for the cows or sell it or I don't know with everything you want to do with your hay. But to be able to collect it, we need to first of all row it up because otherwise it will take forever even for a small field like this one to to collect and to do that we need a windrower and if we go right here just on the right of the tether category we have the windrowers uh, we have a little bit more in game than other type of equipments and you can choose whichever you want from from this list i went with the class just to be able to match with this big serion over here and uh, let's go to the field and i'll show you how this wind drawing is done first of all we need to unfold the equipment this is a very wide uh, wind drawer but uh, you can go for other options it's not mandatory to go for this one this one is expensive uh, then you can turn it on lower it down and here we go now if we look back if you stop a little bit and look back you can see that all the hay that we made earlier it's now put in a swath and it will be ve very easy to to gather it doesn't matter which option to gather this hay we choose okay so let's continue this as you can see we now have five rows of hay it says grass because it uh, registers the field info but uh, it's hay now that we have this rose over here it's time to collect and store the hay and we have multiple options to do that and when i say multiple options i'm thinking about two we can bale the hay and store the bales in a bale shed like this one over here or we can collect the hay with a loading wagon or a forage wagon and store it in a hayloft. The bale shed and the hayloft can be found in the constructions menu under silos. You have them over here. This is the bale and pellet storage. It can hold 250 bales. It's the standard in game one. I'm not going to place another because we already have one place. And this is the hayloft. It can hold 250. 50,000 liters of hay and you can put put it to what whenever you wherever you want you can turn it around you can do whatever you want with it i'm not going to place is this one over here now to bale the hay you need a baler so you can, we can go here under balers category and basically for hay you can choose whichever baler you like from this category even this smaller one but this does only 120 centimeter bales which are very small or you can go for this one it's a cheap version you don't need a lot of horsepower for it you can also go for something like this which is a bale baler wrapper as you can see it has the wrapper on the back but since we you are going to bale hay this doesn't matter and the bales will not be wrapped this bale baler also does 125 to 180 centimeter bale okay so you can choose whichever you want this is these are square balers massive ones these are good for hay because they are producing bigger bale, bales. If you want to load the bale, bales you produced, you will need some sort of trailer. And you can opt for something like this, which is an auto stacker. This is for square bales. This is for round bales, the Anderson. Or you can opt for something like this. But on this one, you will have to put the bales manually on the trailer using a front loader, a tele handler, a wheel loader, whatever tool you have available to you. And then you can store the bales. If you want to collect the forage loose, the hay loose, you need a forage wagon. Any forage wagon from this category over here can be used. Uh, I think I have this one, the Magnon CFS 530 for, uh, for this guide, but you can use whichever one you like the most okay so let's pretend that we want to uh, turn the hay into hay bales and we want to store the bales first of all we need to bale the 
hay. We have a baler wrapper, as you can see, on the back of this uh, New Holland tractor. And if we start to gather the hay, you can see in the bottom right corner that we are collecting hay. You can see the icon for hay. Now, I said that the bales will not be wrapped. And as you can see, it's not wrapping them, it's just holding them there. A feature that you have in uh, Farming Simulator 22 that you didn't have in 19 was to turn on automatic drop. If you look in the top left corner of the screen, you can see that turn on automatic drop. So let's do that. So now when we move forward and get a full bale, you will see that the bale will get off the baler automatically. I didn't press anything, the baler drops, drops it down. The only downside uh, while using round balers is that you, while when the ba baler is full you have to stop for it to unload. If you are using a square baler you can power through and uh, it will collect and push the bales back push the bales from the back and you can go on let's do another row you see I have a full baler I have to stop now I'm going a little bit back because I missed a little bit and I don't like missing bit but yeah you can go all over the field or all around the field then bail all the hay that you have with this and then you can collect the bales using an auto stacker or a front loader in the a trailer it doesn't matter which option you go for let's finish this row and then we can go get the auto stacker and collect the bales from the field we are going to then that that's all the bales that we we want to make and let's finish this I don't think we are going to get another bay bale by the end but it doesn't matter okay so now that we bale the hay let's say we want to collect it and we need a trailer I have an auto stacker over here I'm going to start the tractor and let's go collect the base. What you have to do with this auto stacker is just put it into operating positions in the top left corner and now you can go bail to bail and collect all of them. See, it automatically puts it onto the trailer. Okay, now all the bales are collected. We can turn back to transporting position the trailer and then we can go to the shed over here reverse back to it and we can store the bales inside here it's not mandatory to use this type of pallet and storage shed that is like a silo you can put the bales in whichever shed you you like just keep in mind that for consoles you have a bale limit so by using this type of silos you can increase that building and now all the bales are in and if we look here they are nicely stacked towards the back the other way in which you can collect the hay from your field is by using this type of forage wagons <coughs> it acts let's say like a baler but it doesn't bail the straw it puts it, put it puts it in the trailer if we start it up and we can, we can you can see we can lower the back end of the trailer down and this will collect the hay and you can see it starting to pile up in the in the trailer let's collect some of it let's see if we can fill this trailer that's why i went around the entire field i wanted to see if the trailer will get full i don't think so i think we are going to get yeah four percent uh, 
more hay to be able to fill it up but it's not a problem that wasn't the purpose of this video and once you collected the hay loose and you have it in a trailer you can store it in a hay shed like this one over here let's go and see okay start overloading and you can see the hay is going into the halo you can go to the building and see it going up also uh, right now i'm using only in game st standard in game equipment machinery and buildings but if you go on mod hub you will see that uh, you have a lot of multi fruit silos that you can you can place you can also store your hay in that kind of building and this is it i think this is all you need to know about making hay i hope you enjoyed this first tutorial of mine if you did please give me a like if you want to watch more of my videos subscribe to the channel and in the end i will see you next time thanks for watching